Hi everyone and welcome back. For those of you who are not familiar with the Stellar cryptocurrency, we're going to be taking a look at how Stellar got started, some information related to how it works, and the benefits of Stellar and the organization behind it. So let's take a look at the Stellar cryptocurrency. Stellar was released in 2014 as a decentralized payment network and protocol with its currency. Stellar can also be referred to as Lumens or XLM. You will more than likely see it referred to as Lumens. In 2014, the first Brazilian Bitcoin exchange, Mercado Bitcoin, announced it would be using the Stellar network. Sometimes with Stellar, it can get a little confusing. So let's make this clear that in this area of the cryptocurrency, Stellar is the network made up of a distributed blockchain ledger and database. We're going to refer to the coins as Lumens or XLM. Since Stellar was released by the nonprofit Stellar.org, it seems to have that extra and added level of transparency, so it's a nice benefit. Stellar's goal is to expand access to the low-cost financial services to fight poverty and maximize individual potential. And we can see from the Stellar.org website that they have made the following permanently and publicly available. Remember, this is related to transparency. These include the details and mechanism of the various Lumen distribution programs, the aggregate number of individuals who have participated in the direct sign-up program and number of Lumens distributed, details and progress of the partnerships program and Stellar Build Challenge, details and progress of the Bitcoin program, and total Lumens held by the foundation. Now, this is just an awesome transparency list. When we're working with cryptocurrencies, you know, de decentralized applications, the more information that we have, either as developers or investors, or just someone looking to get into cryptocurrencies, this information can be very useful. If you're trying to predict or build models that look at investments of these currencies, just think about the uses of this information and publicly available details related to Lumens. So what are the key main points? Of course, we have to start and state that it's open source. And as we have mentioned that Stellar is hosted, the Stellar Core, it's hosted on GitHub, and we can actually pull it up here. And we can see the Stellar Core information and documentation on GitHub. So if you get the chance, scroll through, take a look at the Stellar Core and the information related to it. It's just very useful if you want to understand more of the technical aspects and side of Stellar, at least the backbone of the Stellar network. But jumping back in with its currency, Lumens, they have a very low fee, and the network actually has transaction speeds that rival Ripple. Since we mentioned Ripple, we can see some similarities, such as the fast transaction speed, and they both aim to handle cross-platform transactions and microtransactions. And an interesting fact, and why we probably see these similarities, is that Stellar was originally based on Ripple's protocol and model. But with Stellar, it's more open source and more decentralized. And we can also see that the government over the creation of Lumens is determined by a fixed protocol level rules. The number of lumens created at Genesis was 100 billion and every year there is a 1% inflation rate. New lumens cannot be generated arbitrarily by anyone. And we can also see that since it is so open source and decentralized, someone could actually theoretically push a proposal, but it's very unlikely to succeed or very unlikely that the validators on the network are unlikely to accept and ratify it. So the chance of more lumens being created is very minimal. If you want to explore that further, you can visit the link here. And we can take a quick look on how it works. This is put together by the stellar.org. And if you get the chance, you can scroll through this further, but let's take a quick look at it because it provides some useful information for how stellar works. So we can see this information. It's very practical. We can see that sending the transactions remember it's aiming to handle those microtransactions it's also targeting those financial services and sectors we can scroll through and see that it is similar to other cryptocurrencies and decentralized applications and blockchain algorithms that it's made up of a network of servers containing our data the stellar network decentralized and spread throughout many locations that power the distributed ledger recording every transaction in the system 
and any entity can run our server. Remember, this is very open source. And if you scroll through, it just has some other remaining useful information related to the ledgers and transferring money, issuing credit, acting like a virtual wallet. And we can see Stellar, since it's distributed exchange, the Lumens, you can actually send Euro credits to your friend using your US dollar credit balance. This is that area similar to Ripple where it's facilitating the ease of currency exchanges. I think that's something to pay attention to in the near future. All right, to wrap it up, Lumens, Stellar's currency, are in competition with other currencies such as Ripple for becoming partners with banks and other financial institutions. Due to this, it makes Lumens a necessary cryptocurrency to keep an eye on for the near future. And we can see that the prominence of it and that financial institutions are taking on Lumens and utilizing this network within their services because recently IBM announced that they were launching a blockchain banking across multiple countries with Stellar. So keep that in mind if you're looking to get into cryptocurrencies, if you're looking to invest or looking to build or contribute to the network, trying to work with Stellar, that the financial sector is definitely one of the main targets. Again, similar to Ripple, Ripple and Stellar with their currencies are very prominent within these financial institutions because it facilitates the ease of use of transferring currencies of these transactions along with the speed. All right. I hope that you're more familiar with Stellar. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to share them in the Q&A. Keep this cryptocurrency on your radar for the next few years. Let's see how it's performing, how it's moving, and what changes are made, if any changes are made to the network. Always visit the Stellar.org, the nonprofit website that released the Stellar network, and enjoy cryptocurrencies.